Hey everybody, today I want to talk about what type of water you should be using in your Lourdes hydrogen machine because I've been getting a lot of questions about this and I would really just like to make a video about it. So this is a simple thing. In the pitcher, you put any type of water you want to drink. It can be filtered water, it can be distilled water, it can be reverse osmosis water, it can be spring water. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter whatever water you want to drink. I mean, I have my own personal taste of water that I like. I like distilled water that is mineralized because of the cleanliness, but you don't have to use that type of water in the pitcher. Now what's really important is on the other side. There's a chamber over here. It's right here on the top. If you can see the little cap here. In fact, I'll even remove it real quick. See this little cap here. And that's where the filter is in. And inside there, you do not want to use RO water, reverse osmosis, and you do not want to use distilled water. These can actually damage your machine. And you don't want to, for example, mineralize water that's reverse osmosis or distilled and put it in there either. That will still damage your machine and it won't work properly. You want to use mineral, you want to use mineral water or you want to use like um, spring water would be fine. You want the minerals in it because the machine is actually doing a type of electrolysis and needs the minerals. And then it goes down into here, but the good part is, is that water, you're not drinking that water. Now you do, it, it is better to use filtered water because you don't want chlorine. But beyond that, you just, you know, you want regular mineralized water and you're not drinking that water. So it's not a big deal. The important part is this water. This is the water you're going to be drinking. And it's pretty easy to set up. You just pour the water in there and the filter has like a little floaty device on it. And it shows you how much, you know, how much water's in there. If you ever run out of water, which it kind of looks actually like kind of low on water, it'll show a little droplet on there and show you that you're running low on water. And you just want to make sure that the sponge is elevated in the center. So you have like, let me see if I can pull up a picture here. And see when you look, when you look in here, you see the sponge and you want the little center part elevated, you know, as much as possible. Why can't I get the right angle? And, you know, sometimes I'll pull it up and I'll just kind of rest it on there. You know, you want it nice and elevated. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. People seem to be getting confused about this a lot. And I've been getting a lot of emails about it. So that's pretty much it. Hope uh, that answers anybody's questions out there. And see you next time.